Hi, welcome back to English Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain sci-fi horror movie called Hollow Man. Watch out and support this channel to grow us. The main character scientist named Sebastian is shown at the start of the movie. He was a scientist who invented a medicine after experiencing a long struggle, through which he could vanish any organism including human beings and animals, but he failed to invent a medicine which could turn back the invisible things he had been working on this project for one years, so he may succeed in turning the disappeared things back, he struggles hard on it and finally his effort bears fruit, it means he was successful in inventing a medicine that could resurrect the disappeared things in fact. He had disappeared many animals with the serum to make the things invisible, which he wanted to turn back. When he was successful in inventing it, he shared it with another co-worker scientist, and he invites them to laboratory. There was a gorilla which was made invisible, after a great effort, they first knock it out. Afterwards, its feet and hands are fastened to the bed, setting it in a lying position. They inject Sebastian's made medicine to it which was invented to reverse the invisible things. It faces much trouble when the medicine is injected into it by them, because its heart rate is increased. Witnessing its condition, it was seeming that Gorilla will not survive, but they try to save it while shocking its heart. Consequently, Gorilla's heartbeat begins to be normal, slowly his whole body was recovering, and the gorilla completely takes over its body, being successful in doing so, they are so excited, because their inventions and experiments have got success. Here it is revealed that all experiments were being conducted for military, their meeting is held with military, Sebastian tells a lie that he still has not gained any success, and he asks for more time to get success. Military declares that you have already taken much time. We will recruit another at your place if you show no improvement, coming outside, Sebastian's friends named Linda and Matthew ask him, why did you tell a lie in the meeting that you did not achieve success, even you have got the success, he says, it is because I want to test this medicine on any human being, and Sebastian himself was that subject human being not anyone else, he arranges a meeting with his other co-workers, he also tells a lie to his co-workers, that military has permitted us to test this medicine on the human beings, in fact, the reality was different, he says, I want to test it on my own body. Linda and Matthew also support him in this matter, even it is not as such but a lie. Sebastian makes his body injected with that medicine, as a result, he feels much pain, at last, he is vanished, but he also loses his consciousness along with it, he takes 17 hours while restoring his consciousness, coming into senses. He was finding difficulty to endure light, he asks to switch off the light, then all lights are switched off. Sebastian was invisible completely, his body is tested, it is clear, there is nothing disturbing in his body, all of the girls in the area were uneasy and restless. Since they were detecting Sebastian's presence in their environmental factors, three days have passed. This moment it was the opportunity to turn Sebastian visible, they infuse him that medication which could make him apparent. Sebastian again faces inconvenience, the most crushing thing is this, he can't turn himself noticeable, and he is in basic condition, he is closer his demise, finding absolutely no chance. They veil Sebastian so he might be apparent before anybody, Sebastian is blew up. Along these lines, he contends Matthew while yelling at him, he says, you have tormented me enough in the span of 10 days in the wake of consuming me in the light, I'm only one to get through this pain. Sebastian was not transforming into a parent so his mental condition was likewise worsening, being imperceptible. He was fretful so long to leave from here, at some point, Sebastian leaves the research center vexatiously. He straightforwardly comes to his home, coming to house, he notices his neighbor young lady, who had been the focal point of him a long time back, Sebastian exposes himself, he rings that young lady house's doorbell. There is nobody when she makes the way for check, being undetectable, he goes into her home, Linda gets seeing Sebastian's veil. Coming to his home, seeing it, she is scared, Linda gets back to the lab, and she holds a gathering with her other collaborators. That Sebastian isn't sans risk for us since he was meandering without cover in condition of imperceptibility. Simultaneously, Sebastian approaches there, that's what Linda undermines in the event that he repeats the experience. She will document a grumbling with the military, then Sebastian concurs with Linda. 
yet there was as yet a trepidation in their souls, in light of the fact that Sebastian was strange mentally, they choose to watch out for Sebastian without fail. There was a camera in the lab that could identify Sebastian even in his undetectable condition. Sebastian knew that he is being watched, so he can't leave this lab now, he plays past recording while at the same time making issue in the camera setting. So others might think, he is still in the lab, doing as such, he leaves the lab, and he straightforwardly moves to Linda's home. Going there, he comes to be aware of the issue among Linda and Matthew, he blows his top since he had warm affections for Linda. He breaks the window glass of her home in attack of anger. Looking outside, Linda sees as nobody, she thinks that he might be Sebastian, she calls to the research center to guarantee it, and a functioning laborer in the lab illuminates Linda, Sebastian is here. Since there's as yet a prior key playing behind the scenes, when Sebastian was on his bed, lying, so he feels that Sebastian is there however he isn't. Getting once again to lab, Sebastian is in rage, he kills a canine there. When the veterinarian returns the following day to serve food to the creatures, she finds the dead canine, she gets some information about it, are you liable for it, Sebastian answers, I don't know even a piece about it. Making it sure, she really looks at all the video accounts, however she doesn't get a solitary point. Sebastian again visits Linda's home around evening time, and Linda feels the presence of Sebastian there, she suspects there is surely someone at this time. She herself goes to laboratory for investigation, then she knows that Sebastian has tried to defy them. Because Sebastian isn't present, then she decides to tell her senior doctor about it, visiting that senior doctor. Linda and Matthew reveal everything to him, being furious that doctor excludes Linda and Matthew from this project. That doctor was going to reveal it to his other co-workers as. Both leave, but that phone had become unresponsive, Meanwhile, Sebastian reaches there, he kills the senior doctor while drowning him. Next morning, Sebastian again comes to the laboratory, Linda and Matthew was waiting for the call of that senior doctor. Because it was the meeting day, there is no call from the senior doctor because he was no more. Then Linda calls to that doctor to know, then she comes to know that doctor is dead because of being drowned. Then Linda decides to open the fact of this project to everyone, because Sebastian's invisibility was only known to his laboratory co-workers. Rest of the people were unaware about it, then she calls, his phone was also unresponsive, they try to go outside, but no door was opening, because Sebastian had deactivated the door lock's codes, there was only Sebastian's code which was operating. They decide to seize Sebastian at any cost because he was still in that laboratory, Sebastian kills one of the girls among them who returns to laboratory in order to take her left thing. They had knowledge that Sebastian will end them one by one. Because he did not want to reveal the reality of his invisibility to anyone. They detect Sebastian's location through a device placed in the laboratory. Two people move there to catch him. One of them is Matthew and other is his friend. Sebastian injures Matthew's friend there. Matthew also fires his gun on Sebastian, but he gets no harm, and his shape appears there and he flees from there. Matthew friend's blood was much wasted so the blood is required for him. Then Linda's friend goes to arrange blood and Sebastian also approaches there, and he ends that girl at the same time. Matthew's friend also meets his fate, now there were only three survivors including Linda, Matthew and one of their friends. Now they search for Linda's friend who had gone to arrange blood, they find her body in the cold room, moreover, third survivor besides Linda and Matthew is also killed with an iron rod by Sebastian. Sebastian also injures Matthew when he exerts to save his friend, he leaves Linda and Matthew in freezer cold room and turns on it, he leaves them there and goes away, he wanted to end them because of the cold temperature, and the freezer's temperature was gradually bringing down, but Linda tries to crack the door courageously but of no avail, being injured, Matthew is unconscious, now Sebastian comes on the scene who gets ready properly, he makes a bomb, using a chemical, then he leaves after setting its timing, on the other side, Linda was also struggling to break the door, door, using electromagnet, and at this time, she is succeeded and the door is unlocked, she brings Matthew out from there after unlocking the door, and she inflames near him because his body had frozen. Now Linda moves to that place where Sebastian is present. Sebastian was in the elevator. Linda approaches there when elevator's door is about to close. Linda has a fire thrower, so she uses it to burn Sebastian. 
Sebastian was wrapped in flames, and his body was also burning gradually, being aggressive and wounded, Sebastian wanted to take revenge from Linda, he wanted to finish her in any way, then Linda turns on the extinguisher, as a result, water starts falling from there, now Sebastian was little visible, and he begins to end Linda pathetically, keeping his foot on her neck, he tries to choke her, holding an iron rod, Matthew arrives there when Linda is nearly to die, and he hits Sebastian's head with that iron rod, consequently, Sebastian falls down there, Matthew lifts, Linda up and both begin to leave from there, Sebastian who was still alive, picks up that iron rod, he is almost to hit Matthew with that rod that he gets awareness, while trying to push Sebastian, the rod makes contact with an electric cable, causing an electric shock to be transmitted to Sebastian's body. As a result, Sebastian is knocked out there, falling down, then Matthew and Linda move to a place where Sebastian had fixed the bomb. Both had understood that they have a short time, and they cannot stop the explosion of this bomb. And they also want to leave this place, but they could not escape through elevator. Because Sebastian had deactivated the operation of elevator, so they climb the ladder which is with the elevator. The bomb is exploded as they are climbing, while climbing, Sebastian holds the foot of Linda from downward, because Sebastian was still alive, and Matthew advances to rescue Linda. But Sebastian comes into the elevator with Linda before Matthew approaches, standing in the elevator. Linda holds a settled cable in the elevator, it was the cable which was bringing elevator from top to down. Linda presses a button there with her foot, consequently, that cable is disconnected with the elevator and Sebastian falls down with that elevator, because of the explosion. There is fire on the bottom side, as a result, Sebastian burns to death, and Linda begins to move towards Matthew cautiously. Approaching to Matthew, both are survived and excited, the movie also ends along with it, thanks for watching.